What is up, Guardians? So have you ever noticed when you're in a tower, you always inspect people, and every hunter you look at, it looks just like this on everybody. You got high mobility and no recovery. Well, I'm going to show you how you can get the best of both worlds and get an 818 build. 8 mobility, 1 resilience, and 8 recovery. And I just included this Titan right here because this is the dumbest armor set I've ever seen in the game. It's fucking <laughs> blue tick looking dude. All right. Anyways, back to Hunter PvE build. So basically, all this gear can be acquired from Brother Vance. I do not use any exotics on my Hunter build, and the reason why is because it screws up my mobility and my recovery. And any Hunter exotic that I've even seen, it really only benefits your super ability or maybe your invisibility ability. But other than that, I mean, a super lasts, what, like 15, 20 seconds, and then you're through, and then you gotta go back to relying on your guns and stuff. I don't use any grenade charge mods, I only use a kinetic uh, reload mod. The rest goes to mobility and recovery, and that is basically all you need in PvE. So here goes some gameplay. So this is a 8 mobility, like I said, and if you have 7 or above mobility, you can literally strafe dodge any boss in the entire game just by moving left to right with 7 or above mobility. If you're below that, you'll be hit by the bullets every time, but if you're seven or above the bullets will stray behind you constantly definitely helps out whenever you're in a real life situation this is just a patrol you know situation so the bullets don't hurt these would hurt a hell of a lot more though if we were in a nightfall and uh, here's some aggressive situations I'm gonna use two submachine guns for most of this just to show you how up close and personal you can kind of get with this build and to show you that re that eight recovery and what it does here we go, I'm getting blasted right now with some flame stuff, but you know, I'm still able to stay in the fight because my recovery allows me to do that. So yeah, I'm hit right now. Doesn't really matter because I'm about to get right back in it. This guy comes up in here, get busted up in the face, meleeed, bam, health right back, still staying in the fight. Same situation here, I'm gonna use a little bit of speed on this knight, melee that guy, dodge out of the way. Invis, punch in the face, he doesn't even know what the hell to do, he runs away, jump past these guys, bust that dude up in the dome, good night. Here we are again, staying up close, bam, shield busted off, still staying in the fight though, recovering already, didn't have to back out one time, still keeping the aggression. Another situation here, Scion wants to blow me up in the air, but I do invisibility right back in the fight. Got that speed, what up with it? And it's just so much fun to use when you have the recovery and mobility, man. Resilience has been tested, it doesn't matter at all in the PvE game, and my theory on that is that since damage numbers are larger in PvE, that having a 6 to 11 point health boost doesn't really matter in those kind of numbers but in a PvP situation since numbers are smaller in damage having 6 or 11 boost you know by resilience might actually help you out but that's just a theory I don't know if that's correct or not but I'll test it here in a second and let you see what a 5 resilience versus a 1 resilience would do and I've also got other videos with my warlock where I tested a 9 resilience versus 0 resilience and it wasn't any difference. It maybe had like a millimeter of health difference on the red stage of health. But other than that, I mean, it wasn't like it was going to be helping me out in any kind of combat scenario. Rolling without re recovery on a hunter is like fighting with a popsicle stick. You're pretty much done when that shield bust. With this type of build, you can walk in and own any room in any strike or raid. I do it all the time. Like right here. Just us down here. Watch this. I'm gonna take out this entire room. Give me that bright engram, bruh. Just walking and shooting. That's all I'm doing. Maintaining that recovery. Get hit here. Doesn't matter. Bam. Not the best rocket shot, but still blew all them up. Back to recovery. I'm barely out of the game at all, if any. Like, I can just stay busting on this dude. Use a little bit of smoke. Bam. Give me this room. And 
And you know those hunters running around with zero recovery. I mean, they're going to be out like eight seconds just to get their health back as soon as their shield busts. Like right here, strafe dodging. Boss can't touch me because I'm strafing. Get my recovery back and jump right back in it. Bam, bam. Good night. Eat a ham sandwich, ho. Right here. Whole team dies. Dead. Just me. Look at that health. Stayed back in it. Blow them down. Bam. Save the whole strike just right there. Right here. I mean, literally every room that I walk into with this build, I can just watch this. Got two guys try to melee me. Dodge both of them. Blow them both back. Run in here. Inside shot. Melee. Set up for the rocket. Dot. I mean, it's just a perfect build. I promise you, if you ever try it, you're going to see. I mean, look at these numbers. This is every strike that I do. My numbers are just like that. Here's another situation. Running up. Taking out this whole area. Watch this. Look around from those situations. Get hit. It's alright, because I got that speed to jump back real fast. Run up in. Like, I, don't, I didn't even see my teammates shoot once. They're probably like, what the hell? What, what, what can I shoot? Goodbye. But taking energy readings are still off the charts. Done. Entire area owned by me. Same situation. I'm gonna go up here and mess this wizard up real fast. Like I said, I'm using submachine guns just to show you the ag the aggression you can have with it. Oh, I'm hit. Doesn't matter. About to get my health back. Charge my melee by doing the dodge near the enemy. Stick that sub in her face, in her gut. Right here, boss area. I can, you can just circle around this guy the whole time. If you have seven or above mobility, he can never touch you with this shield. That's all he does. And then you want to take care of some ads. Get that height jump from that mobility. Bam, area's all mine. Couple my little friends out over here. Done. Go over here and mess this knight up. I'm in the red damage area, doesn't matter. Got my health back. There we go again. I gave them 10 kills and 33 kills. Same situation with this area. I mean, it just goes on and on. It's and it's all because I have mobility and recovery. This is the only reason I can do stuff like this. Had I not, not had any recovery, I'd be sitting out a lot trying to get that health back before I could go back in and try to fight again. Not only that, the higher the recovery, the faster the meter charges during the health recover process as well. I think when you have one or zero recovery, it takes a total of like 12 seconds to get your health back. But when you have an eight recovery like I do, you get it back in around six seconds. Six to seven. So it's like half that time cut in half. And this is all I do. Every time I run a nightfall, a strike, it doesn't matter, a raid. I just walk in, start busting. Can't touch this. Bam. Look at that guy, all stray. Get out of here, bruh. Hop back on my little boost. Little sparrow. Come over here and mess these dudes up real quick. Gonna take a rock to the face. 180 no scope rocket, what? Hit that dude up. Bam. Situation owned. Here's some more dodging. Right here, the boss. Another situation here. Guy tries to shoot me. Can't hit me at all. Right here, he tries to shoot me again. Dodge all three shots. He disappears. Right here, he tries to stab me. He is successful. Dodge out of the way. Jump right over his head. Jump again. 
hit him, circle around him, can't even touch me. Has no idea what to do. Just disappears. All of you trying to do the prestige raid, you want to get all your raid gear. Well, heads up, that prestige armor gives you zero recovery. It's completely garbage. The only thing is the cool factor of it. But I'd rather be a wise guardian than a flashy guardian. There we go. Uh, six shots with one resilience. We're going to test it again with the five resilience. And like I said, I also have a warlock video where I tested zero and nine resilience. And it was the same amount of shots to die. There wasn't hardly any health difference when I was in the red zone at all. If any, I couldn't even hardly tell if it even did anything. But like I said, it does probably help in PvP. There we go again. Now we're got the higher resilience gear on. One, two, three, four, five, and six again. Death. Same amount of health in the red zone. All right. Well, all I can do is show you my build. Uh, the facts are there, man. You can get out of a lot of aggressive situations by wearing this gear. I understand trials and the prestige gear looks cool and things like that, but you know, wisdom over flash any day. I'd much rather have recovery and mobility rather than mobility and no recovery, which is what that prestige gear will get you. And you can reroll stuff, but just a heads up about that rerolling with the masterwork, you only have a few options each gear piece can be. Like, uh, for example, I re-rolled those legs probably about 11 times. No, I take that back. It was actually about 16 times just to make sure that they could not be one mobility and two recovery. And that's what my Warlock legs were, so I was trying to make the same build for my Hunter as well. And that roll does not exist on any Hunter legs. So there's about five different options that it rotates through, and then it goes back to the stock selection. So don't waste all your master cores trying to get a roll that doesn't exist in the game. It's just the way they built it. There is not an eight mobility, zero resilience, nine recovery build in the entire game for a hunter, but there is for a warlock. I don't know why it's like that, but that's just the way that you know Budgie decided to make it. You can't get high, higher than eight one eight basically if you want to have both. Of them. But anyways, man, I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial. I know everyone likes exotics and flash gear, but if you want the best wrecking shop gear in the game, this is it.